Hi everyone, I'm Shahnaz from CrochetDreams.com and today I'm going to share how to make this beautiful afghan with a 3D stitch. To make this blanket, I used worsted weight yarn. I used Land Brand Pound of Love in color Oxford Grey. Land Brand Pound of Love in color Vintage White. And Land Brand Heartland in color Yosemite. I also used a 6mm crochet hook. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and press that bell icon to receive notifications when I post new patterns. So gather your supplies and let's get started. To make this blanket, chain a multiple of 4 plus 3. To make a blanket which was 36 inches wide, I chained 123. You can find the link to the written pattern in the description box below. For the purpose of this video, I will be starting with a, uh, with a chain of 27. That is a multiple of 4 plus 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. And now we'll start our first row, which is a V-stitch row. And each V-stitch is a double crochet chain to a double crochet worked into the same chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a stitch or does not count as a chain. So we're going to work a V-stitch into the fifth chain from hook. One, two, three, four, five. So work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet into the fifth chain from hook. To work a double crochet, wrap the yarn around your hook, insert your hook into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain two, work one more double crochet into the same chain, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain, Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you made a V-stitch into the fifth chain from your hook. Now skip the next three chains and work a V-stitch into the next. Again, work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet to complete your V-stitch. Skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and work a V-stitch into the next. A double crochet, chain two, a double crochet. Skip the next three and work a V-stitch into the next. Double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. You should keep working like that. Skip three chains and a V-stitch into the next until you have just two chains left. So skip three and work a V-stitch into the next chain. Each V-stitch is one double crochet, chain two and a double crochet. Skip three, work a V stitch into the next I now have just two chains left so work a double crochet into the very last chain that is how you complete row one so that brings us to the end of row one with V stitches now let's begin row two. To begin row two, chain two and turn. Row two is a shell stitch row and each shell is made of two double crochet, sorry, three double crochet chain two, three double crochet worked into the same chain two space. So we have started with a chain two and now first before working the shell we have to work a front post double crochet around the first leg of your V-stitch. 
A V stitch has two legs with chain two between. This is the first leg and this is the second. We will first work a front post double crochet around the first leg of the V stitch, then work a shell into the chain two space, and then work a front post double crochet into the next leg of the V stitch. And that will complete our 3D shell. So again, around every leg of the V, we will work front post double crochet stitches and into the chain two space, we will work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So let's begin to work a front post double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook behind the post of the first leg of your V stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That completes a front post double crochet. Now work a shell, which is a three double crochet chain two and a three double crochet into this chain two space here. One double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, chain two, again, three more double crochet into the same chain two space. One, two, and three. Now you have to work a front post double crochet into the second leg of the V stitch, of the next double crochet you see here. So yarn over, insert your hook behind that post like that, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops on your hook to complete the front post double crochet. Now we're going to work into the next V stitch. So let's begin by working a front post double crochet around the first leg of the V stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook behind the post of the first leg of the V stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two to complete a front post double crochet and work a shell into the next chain two space. That is three double crochet, one, two, and three, chain two, and three more double crochet into the same chain two space one, two, and three. Now work a front post double crochet around the next leg or the second leg of your V stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook behind the post like that, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now work across each of the V stitches making your shells and your front post double crochet in the same way until you have worked into every single V stitch. So let's continue. Front, po front post double crochet, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into the next chain two space. Now a front post double crochet around the next double crochet, the second leg of your V stitch. Now we're going to work in the next V stitch. So start with a front post double crochet. Three double crochet. Chain two. Three double crochet in the same chain two space. Work a front post double crochet around the next double crochet. Now let's work into the next V stitch.
work a front post double crochet around the second leg of the v-stitch now I have just one more v-stitch to work into so let's do that work around the post to complete a front post double crochet work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet into the chain two space one front post double crochet around the next leg of your v-stitch and now to complete your row work a double crochet into the top of beginning chain three one two three so work a double crochet into the top of beginning chain three like that so that completes row two and you have shells that are really popping out to begin row three chain two and turn row 3 is a V stitch row and you will work a V stitch into into the chain spaces of each of the shells here and here and to work a V stitch you should work a double crochet a chain 2 and a double crochet so we already made chain 2 the beginning of the turning chain and now let's work a V stitch into the chain 2 space of the first shell that is a double crochet chain two and a double crochet into the same space and now let's work on top of the next shell so work a V stitch into the chain two space which is a double crochet a chain two and a double crochet work a v-stitch on top of each of the shells and then I'll show you how to end the row continue working v-stitches into the chain two spaces of each of your shells I'm now going to work on my last shell I have now finished working on top of each of my shells and to end the row work a double crochet on top of beginning chain 2 you will find it at the very edge so this is where this is the very edge that is where the chain 2 is and you will work a double crochet on top of that to complete your row three now row four and onwards you will just keep repeating rows two and three that is a shell row and a v-stitch row I can show you the shell row chain two it is just a repeat of row two chain two and work a front post double crochet around the first leg work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet In the chain two space and work a front post double crochet around the next leg of the v-stitch and that will form your first shell go ahead and work shells into each of the v-stitches just like you worked your row two and then follow it up with a v-stitch row so keep alternating between the shell stitch the shell row and the v-stitch row until you have six shell rows and then I'll ch show you how to change colors so finish six rows in color gray and come back and join me I have now completed three shell rows 
and I'm going to change colors. You should change colors when you have completed six shell rows. Since I'm making a small swatch, I'll change my colors now and then so you can see how I do that. So I have one last shell to work into the very last V stitch. So work a front post double crochet around the first leg of the V stitch. Work three double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet into the chain two space. One, two, three, chain two. Three more double crochet into the same chain two space. One front post double crochet around the second leg of your V-stitch. And now you'll be working your last double crochet on top of beginning chain 2 here. And while you complete that double crochet, you have to join the next color, which is the cream color. So start your double crochet as usual. Wrap your yarn around the hook. Insert your hook into the top of beginning chain 2. Pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two. And when you have two loops left on your hook, take the next color and pull it through the two loops to complete your last double crochet. Now chain two, turn, and start working your V-stitch row with the new color that you just joined. Work a V-stitch into the chain 2 space of each of the shells across. Now repeat the V-stitch rows and the shell rows with the cream color until you have six rows of shells and then we'll change color to the next one which is brown so keep alternating between uh, these three colors until your afghan is 42 inches long you will begin with a gray stripe and end with a cream so go ahead and work six shell rows each with each of these colors and uh, i will meet you at the end and show you how to add a border I have now completed three stripes. You will have two more. That is another gray and then a cream stripe. Each of my stripes have only three shell rows, but yours will have six each. And um, now I've completed three rows and I'm going to fasten off now to show you how to add a shell border to the other side. So when you complete your fifth row, that is your last cream row, you will end in a shell row here. So this side will have shells popping out and this side, this edge will be straight. The foundation side will be straight. So if you want to add shells to this side, this is an optional step. If you don't mind leaving it like this, you can. But if you want to add a shell edge to this side, you will have to go ahead and add one extra shell and we stitch row to the very last stripe. Otherwise your last stripe will, uh, or your first stripe will start looking bigger than your first. So if you plan to add a shell to the foundation side, foundation chain side of your uh, afghan, go ahead and add one more V-stitch and a shell stitch row here. That is a seventh row on your very last cream stripe. I'm going to fasten off now and then I will show you how to add the shell border to your foundation chain side. So after you complete seven rows on your last stripe, you can fasten off. And now I'll show you how to add a shell border to the foundation chain side. To start your border, slip stitch to the corner of your afghan at the top of that beginning chain there. Use the same color yarn as your first stripe. And make a slip stitch. Chain two. And now you will work a shell at the base of each shell on your first row. That is, you have a shell here. So you will work a shell into this gap here. 
you have your second shell here so you will work another shell under that shell do not con get confused and work into the gaps here but work right under the shells on your first row so this is a shell you will work under this your next shell is here so you will work right under that so keep working like that so now I have made a beginning chain two and for this row the shell won't have front post double crochets you just have to work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet into the gaps under each of your shells so this is my first shell and this is a gap under it so I'm going to work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet under it so work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet under the first shell now I'll look for my second shell which is here so I'm going to work here again three double crochet chain two and three double crochet now look for my next shell and work under it I'll work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet under it so keep working under each of your shells Let me get some yarn here. Three double crochet, chain two. Three double crochet. I have two more shells to work. And now this is my last shell here. I'm going to work under it. Three double crochet. Chain two. And three double crochet. And now to end this row, I will work a double crochet into this corner. And I'll go into the body of the double crochet or the leg of the double crochet otherwise it seems to leave a gap there so yarn over and start working your double crochet don't go into the very top the free loop just dig into the leg of the double crochet and complete the stitch so that's how I end my very last border row so this is the foundation chain side and this is how the other side looks you should be adding one more row extra uh, waist stitch and shell stitch row to make your first stripe and your last stripe the same length you can now thread a yarn needle and weave in those tails along the back of your afghan this is the right side and this is the back side So weave it in, go in and out through the stitches, go back, in and out, you can go one more time if you want, just to make sure it stays secure and then trim the ends so go ahead weave in all those tails and your afghan is done i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe 
and press that notification icon to know when I post new patterns. Thank you so much for watching.